people welcome to my channel I'm Arpita Karva and in this particular video series I'm going to talk about a new edition in the syllabus of UGC net English and that new edition is unit number six that is English in India history evolution and future now I was always teaching this particular topic to my students because even though the topic was introduced recently a lot of times UGC net department used to ask questions from the history of English language in India. So I always had this section in my online course but then when this was introduced in the new syllabus I thought that why not let's give it a separate corner in the website and let me start a new video lecture series on this new topic. I have seen that a lot of students were worried after this new topic was introduced in the syllabus and the reason why they were worried was that there was no good book which could give them enough information about the history of English literature in India. So I thought that why not let's start a free video lecture series wherein I can discuss all the important topics that you must cover in this particular unit. So in this video lecture series I'm going to talk about all the important uh, decisions made by East India Company and all the important movements which were related to the English in India and we are going to look at its history, how it evolved as uh, a language and now what is the future of English in India but before I talk about the major issues I would first like you to go to my website arpitakarva.com and check out the list of important topics that I have posted for free for all the students and these important topics are segregated according to the 10 modules which have been introduced in the uh, syllabus of UGC net English recently so let's begin from the really starting uh, we all know that East India Company came into India around 1700s and it was during this period that for the first time English was introduced to Indian people the director of the East India Company was Charles Grant who believed that by introducing English in India he can actually eradicate the superstitious beliefs of the Indian people at that time we know that people were really superstitious about things and they were uh, very much God fearing and as far as Grant's views are concerned he believed that if English is introduced in India then that can change people morally socially and culturally also you must note at this special point that when English came into India it was known as the Christian tongue so that was how people used to uh, call English Christian tongue and why was it called Christian tongue because father of Lord Macaulay the famous man who wrote minutes on English education his name was Zachary Macaulay Zachary Macaulay was the father of Lord Macaulay and he was also in the uh, British cabinet wherein he was introducing English in different different colonies and he was of the view that by introducing English they could spread Christianity all across the globe so their purpose was that Christianity as a language should become the official religion of all the people across the globe and since the language of Christianity is English we need to introduce English to the people of colonies so that they can understand the views and beliefs of the Christian people. The next important event which helped English as a language to flourish across the Indian subcontinent was the Charter Act of 1813. Now you must be wondering what is this Charter Act of 1813 and how did this act help English to flourish across India? Charter Act of 1813 was an act which was uh, passed by the Parliament of United Kingdom that is Great Britain and the act said that number one all the people in India they would be given money as in some money would be allocated to the department of East India Company so that they can promote education and also they can encourage people to take up English as a language. And the second important thing that was mentioned in the act was that this act is going to give permission to missionaries to come to India and promote Christianity. Missionaries are basically organization uh, with a purpose to spread Christianity. So they are going to come to different different countries and then by using different uh, means they are going to 
convert people into Christianity. So missionaries were asked to come to India to promote Christianity and also to promote English as a language so that people can understand Christianity better. Missionaries played a very important role in encouraging people to take up English as a language in Indian subcontinent. We are going to discuss the role of missionaries in detail in the upcoming video lecture in which I am going to take this topic forward and give you some other important information about English in India, its history, evolution and future. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, I think you should do it right now so that you're notified next time I upload a video on Crash Course. Also, please like and share this video with other net aspirants so that they get to know about the new topic which is included in the new syllabus and they can prepare for the upcoming net exam in a very, very revolutionary manner. Also, if you would like me to make other videos on some other topics related to UGC net, then please put that in the comment section below and I would be really, really happy to make videos on all those topics requested by you guys. If you've not got the links of the social media platforms and if you've not yet followed me on these social media platforms, I think you should do it before I upload my next video so that you get the latest UGC net update on your phone. So that's it for this video lecture. We'll meet very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.